Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about Red, White, and Royal Blue. This is a movie that just recently dropped on Prime Video. Haven't done a review from Prime in quite some time. Actually, haven't done a like movie, like an actual movie review in a while. Usually just are after the theater, just kind of like quick overall thoughts. But this video, I just want to pre-warn you, it's going to be a little bit longer just because I will be doing the comparison to the book. Also, look y'all, we got some uh, new people over here. We got some minions. My mom picked these up from church. Aren't they so cute? Uh, they are soap dispensers. She didn't know that they were. And I was like, you know what? They're adorable. We're just going to have them over here. We're just not going to pop it out open. Uh, because these are not going to go in my bathroom. They don't go with my decor. And uh, now Oogie has um, some friends over here. So we are following Alex and Henry. Henry is the Prince of England. And Alex is the first son of the United States. His mother, actually the first female president. But this is a story about not only finding out who you are, accepting who you are, but fighting for yourself, fighting for the person that you love, whoever that may be. Uh, so this is um, an LGBTQ movie. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm missing letters. So if that is a problem for you. If you do have issues seeing um, two men uh, making out, then this is not going to be the movie for you. So you might as well just pass on it. But it is a beautiful love story. There are, of course, a lot of differences. But for the most part, they did keep a lot of the core um the course story you know in there and they actually did correct a couple of things so the book i did really really love i thought it was again a beautiful story it was uh touching it did get me emotional in certain parts the movie itself also got me emotional not actually in the part that i was thinking i would i'm so glad they actually kept that particular portion in the book I mean book in the movie uh, but that's actually not the part that made me cry the part that made me cry when they were at the museum with the dancing that part just kind of got me a little bit like teary eye so some of the things that they did omit or rather some of the people that they did omit from the movie that I was saddened about because I'm just like why would you take off certain humans <laughs> especially siblings so Alex technically has a sister her name is June and is an older sister um, she's kind of wanting to get into journalism and stuff but in the book they're they're called the White House trio which is June Alex and um, Nora I did hear that June wasn't gonna be in the movie prior to it and when I got when I started watching the movie I started thinking well maybe Nora is going to take place not take place but we'll be playing both parts kind of if that makes sense we'll be having the essence of june within nora's character as well i didn't feel that i barely felt nora in there especially for the fact that nora was straight here i mean one of the things that made just alex come to nora with his like sexual confusion was the fact of that nora like women you know and they're gonna keep grabs nora keep her as who she is as a person plus I feel like she wasn't as intelligent in the movie I mean we don't see much of her but she did play a part in the book more she was very like into like math and and what's it called like um not strategy statistics half of the stuff honestly that I'm like criticizing I'm really just like nitpicking on it also also one of my other dislikes is the fact that this is a movie representing the queer community but yet you omitted three characters who are queer again nora because she's straight here we don't have uh the politician rafael luna who i really really wanted to see in the movie because he is somebody who alex looks up to somebody that he helped with campaigning and then we also don't have alex's best friend Le uh, uh liam you're also gender swapping which makes no sense to me because in the book we have a queen and in the movie, we have a king here. And honestly, I just wasn't really here for him. I was just like, again, like, why? Like, one of, the, one of my biggest, biggest, biggest dislikes, to be honest with you, is when we gender swap for no reason whatsoever. It's just like, why? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Miguel, the journalist, he wasn't part of the book either. So I feel like um, it's almost like a swap between Rafael and Miguel um just kind i mean he was a politician and then over here they made him 
into like an ex kind of love interest of Alex that they kind of have something going and his whole character I just didn't like him totally pointless honestly my thing to have him also in the book Alex was more into politics he was more involved with his mom's campaign like he really wanted to be more involved because one of his passions was to be in politics also as far as the emailing goes if i recall correctly it seemed more like texting in the movie versus emails and the emails obviously were very important because one there's a leak of the emails and i don't feel like we got much of the emails i mean unless those were emails but they look like text messages to me it felt like more just like general like at the beginning of the relationship but as their relationship blossomed more it did get more into detail more stuff that they were happening there was more concerns so there was a lot of poems that were said just kind of like secret messages from like other people that they thought that could possibly have in some sort of romantic relationship that they're not the first ones but also like maybe they're founding fathers or whatnot also in the emails there was a revelation about princess b who is henry's sister that she was a drug addict and she well she was a recovering drug addict she went to rehab and everything so then not only did did they get exposed of being in a relationship but also be of you know having a drug issue so there was kind of like two things as far as in the royal decree of drama that came out and be here she was just mostly in the background you really didn't see much of her she apparently didn't have a, a drug problem here but as far as b and like a lot of the 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 gang um i it's another part that we missed because the royals or, or the english british people which was b henry uh pez and then the the house uh white house trio alex nora in um june they end up forming a friendship and like a love deal and they become really good friends it was actually a really funny like drunk scene that happened and then i can't remember who it was was it zara who came and got them or just one of the secret services like oh so this is the game now like everybody's like hung over another thing that was actually different um was alex's parents they were divorced in the book and they had them together like when i saw the dad for starters i did not like what they cast as the dad and there was like a whole thing also of conflict which is very very little conflict in the book already i know that that's a lot of people's issues is that the book doesn't really have as much conflict but i feel like the conflict is the very long distance relationship like it's not just a town a city a state it's a whole freaking ocean a whole country that's putting them apart it's a whole we literally cannot be together because i'm a royal and then you're like the first son of the united states that's kind of like the overall conflict that was going on but if you thought that that didn't have conflict there's even like less conflict i feel in the movie there is less uh politics kind of happening in the movie as well um there was definitely more of it in um the book there's also a correction here because in the book henry's always like i'm the next in line i'm the next in line like i'm gonna be the ruler and i'm gonna be the king and this is why we can't be together and it's like um sir 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 you are second born philip the older brother that would be the next ruler so you were like far down the line so i don't know like who told you you're gonna be next to the line but anywho they did correct that here because he even said i'm the spare it is a, an r-rated movie though there is one love scene and i will say it is done beautifully i think it's just done so sweet and so tasteful again if you have problems with like same sex stuff not the movie for you okay again I, I enjoyed the movie okay one of my favorite things about the movie was probably um sarah shally yeah i already know how i am with names she plays zara i feel like she was probably one of the actors who really embodied the book character the best i feel like she could have been a little bit like more stern with it but she did phenomenal it was really a lot of like comparison with the book it's just kind of like you know when you read the book and then you see the movie you're gonna obviously compare it and then like i'm gonna be here and i told you i was gonna compare it okay <laughs> and then you're here to hear if it you know like obviously the book is still better it's a cute cute book uh it's a nice fluffy romantic comedy and it's just overall a story about love about finding out who you are, fighting for what you want, for what you believe in, for what you think is right, no matter what. I think it's just an amazing movie with for the LGBTQ community plus. So if you've seen Red, Right, and Royal Blue, let me know down below what you think about it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? If you've read the book, let me know. 
which one do you prefer book or movie i mean i feel like the book is just honestly always better if you want to follow me on my book journey check me out on tiktok because that's kind of where i'm doing more of like book related situations there at the end of the day i'm going to give red right and water blue a medium popcorn that's it for me today until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye <laughs>